And I'm going to show you a lift that you may not have seen before. It's called a Romanian deadlift, uh, often it's abbreviated as RDL. Um, it's a little bit different than a stiff-legged deadlift. Um, some people will call it the RDL, the Romanian deadlift will call it a semi-stiff-legged deadlift because your legs aren't completely locked out, there's a slight bend in them. This lift is a great lift for working your low back, but the primary muscles you're trying to activate with this lift are your hamstrings. Your hamstrings are responsible for, for two muscle actions. They're responsible for both knee flexion, but they're also responsible for hip extension. Okay? And with the Romanian deadlift, we're working especially at eccentric or that lowering portion of the hamstrings in that, in that, in that hip extension part of that uh, muscle involvement that they have. And so what you're going to do with this lift is you're going to come up to the bar, and I would suggest that, you know, even if, if you're not real strong for beginners, actually for the first time, is to use something like what I have here, these wooden plates, they don't weigh a lot, but they raise the bar off the ground. It gives you a, a steadier position to begin to lift with, and we'll look at this with the deadlift also. But with the Romanian deadlift, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to pick the bar up and start from this position, and with my feet, again, about shoulder width apart, is I'm going to put a slight bend in my knees here, and what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to keep the bar as close to my body as I can as I bend my body over and keep uh, some of those things in mind that we looked at in some of the other lifts with the back being arched as opposed to rounded. So what I'm doing here is letting that bar glide down my body and then bring it back up. How far you go down really depends upon your flexibility. And even for me, I'm not a real flexible guy, so I get past my knees, I can start to feel a real stretch there in my hamstrings. Okay? Many people when they do this lift, they'll do it wrong because they'll let that bar really kind of come out in front of them, they'll round their back here like this. It's important that you keep your weight back on your heels as much as you can. What that means is that you need to kind of push your butt back as you do this lift. And many times you'll see people, and you might notice with me as well, my toes will come off the ground suddenly because my weight is so far posterior, so much on my heels as I do this lift. Because that's how you activate the hamstrings the most. When that bar comes in front of you more, your back is having to control more. We don't really want to have the lumbar area come into play as, as much as we want the hamstrings in this lift. When you do this exercise, you might find that holding the bar with this kind of normal uh, pronated grip might be a little bit difficult to hold that for a while, especially if the weight's pretty heavy. So you can use what's called an alternating grip, where one hand is over and one hand's under. It's much, much easier to hold the bar this way because when it tries to unroll on this hand, it's basically rolling into this hand and vice versa. So lift remains the same. Slight bend in my knees, keep that bar nice and close, stretch my hamstrings, and then bring it right back up. Okay? I tell people to try to aim for the tongues of your shoes. That's how close you want that bar to remain to your body. Just glide along your body the whole time you're doing it. Okay? Most people will not um, need to, they're not flexible enough to go all the way down to that bar but actually touch the ground. As you start breaking form, that usually that back starts to round a little bit. So, if you do have something that's very flexible when they do it, just have them go down to where the weights would almost touch the ground. There's no reason for them to have to stand up on top of a bench to get extra range of motion, that sort of thing. You'll frequently see that sort of thing with moving stiff legged deadlifts, but with the Romanian deadlift, that's really not a, a, a component of it. So, just have them on the ground using some normal sized plates here and going to the lift in that way. So, the Romanian deadlift, a great lift for those hamstrings, especially um, eccentrically working on that strength.